Hello there, are you having problems with the blue screen of death occurring on your computer? Well, let me tell you something. Chances are, nine times out of ten, the reason why you're experiencing the blue screen of death is because of your drivers. Look at this error message right here. Driver underscore IRQL underscore not, not less or equal. Now that is because the drivers are out of date or missing. And this happens to a lot of computers. Your driver basically communicates between your hardware and your computer. So if you don't have the most updated driver, it can be causing security loopholes, issues with your hardware, blue screen of death messages, all types of issues. The blue screen of death basically means your computer is just locked up, it doesn't know what to do, it's, it's just frozen, so you have to reboot it. Now the reason why this happens with drivers is because when a um, computer hardware manufacturer releases a new piece of hardware, they don't know everything about the hardware. They don't know what new updates are going to come out for specific operating systems. They don't know everything that's going to happen in the future. So that's why they release new versions of drivers. And millions and millions of people don't even know that new versions of drivers have been released for their hardware. Now, there's tons of different drivers and it controls all of your hardware. Every piece of your hardware, your CPU, your mouse, your keyboard, your video driver, your sound card driver, every single piece of hardware in your computer has a driver and you have to update it. Now as you can see here, this program driver finder scanned all my drivers, 124 total drivers, and found 23 out of date drivers. So it's the easiest way. If I had to go and search through 124 total drivers, I mean that would take me a whole week. So this does it very quickly in a minute or two finds them all and will fix them so if you want to get rid of these blue screens of death make sure you have no security loopholes and get the most updated versions of all your drivers then you need to listen to this solution okay so here's what you do simply open up a browser and go to this website www.driverupdatersexposed.com you're going to come to this website and you click the button free scan, scan your PC now. It's going to download this program to your computer. Only takes about one or two minutes. I'm not actually going to download it because I already have it installed on my computer. But after you install it, it's going to look just like this. You load the program and you click start scan. It takes about one to two minutes, but it's going to scan each and every device on your computer. It's going to scan your video card, sound card, mouse, keyboard, all your hardware drivers, it's going to scan. It knows the manufacturer of your computer, the model you have, the operating system. It doesn't matter if you have Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7. It doesn't matter. It's going to scan every device. It's going to tell you the current version of the driver that you have right now and when a new driver was released for that particular piece of hardware. So as you can see, I have many outdated drivers. Let's look at the overview. I actually have 23 drivers that are out of date and 101 up-to-date drivers. So I obviously do need to update these drivers. I mean, these out-of-date drivers can be causing security loopholes, my computer to run slow, error messages, lots of different problems these out-of-date drivers can be causing my computer. And without updating them, you know, nothing's ever going to be fixed. So it doesn't matter if you need the new driver to fix a current hardware problem or if you just want to make your computer run faster and without bugs. It really does help. As you can see, it scans each and every device. It tells you what it found. I mean, look at this. This particular piece of hardware, the current version of the driver I have was from 2006. They have a version of the driver from 2009. Can you imagine the updates that have been made since 2006 and 2009? I mean, they could have found a lot of things that will tweak my hardware, make it run faster. There could have been a security loophole. You know, it can be causing a lot of problems with my computer and I would have never known because you know these hardware manufacturers they don't make it easy to find their drivers if you don't have a program like this there's really no way you're ever going to be able to update you know 23 different drivers maybe if you just have one or two that are out of date but if you have over 10 drivers even over five drivers that are out of date you're going to want to use a program like this because all you do is you click fix now it takes care of all the problems now the best thing about this program is you can actually take a backup of your current drivers. So if you're scared it's going to do anything to your computer that you don't like, you simply click that button, 
you back up all your drivers and then if you want to restore it you know if you want to bring back your hardware to its original settings you just click restore and it's going to bring it back so there's nothing that can ever happen that this program is going to do to mess up your computer it's won a lot of awards for customer service it has the biggest driver database over a million drivers tons of customers I know it works I recommend it for my family my friends anybody that visits my website I recommend this program number one so again to get this program all you have to do is go to www.driverupdatersexposed.com click free scan scan your PC now download it only takes about a minute or two bring this up you click start scan see what it finds and then just click fix now that's it thanks a lot for watching this video I hope you have a great day and I hope you fix whatever issues you're having with your computer. I'm confident that this program will take care of everything for you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.